Barbies out there, and now one New Jersey woman is pushing for one unlike any other, one that helps children struggling with cancer. Eyewitness News reporter Robin Rieger has more on a Facebook campaign to get a bald and beautiful Barbie. Almost all little girls love Barbie. Jane Bingham of Sewell, New Jersey, is a fan, too. She admires Mattel's array of Barbies, including an astronaut and a doctor. She hopes to get enough people to write Mattel so the company would make bald Barbies that look like the ones she photoshopped and posted on her beautiful and bald Barbie Facebook page. She thinks it would help young girls with cancer, including her friend's daughter with leukemia, who've lost their hair and can feel self-conscious. We're trying to uh, have children be able to say... You know, she's she's bald like I am, and she's pretty, and I'm pretty. Bingham lost her hair this summer during chemotherapy for lymphoma. People would stare, and I just think how much harder that is for a child who's usually almost always looking for acceptance from their peers. She saw a news report about a one-of-a-kind bald Barbie called Princess Genesis, made by Mattel for a young girl with cancer who lost her hair. Bingham says more should be made. For a little girl, for her doll, that's like a support. Bingham says online she has over 42,000 supporters, but right here in her own neighborhood, the special support, she says, of one young boy. It'll help kids feel like they fit in more. Joe Albanese has alopecia, a medical condition that left him bald, but he's okay with it. A lot of professional athletes shave their heads a lot, so that also helps. We didn't hear back from Mattel, but Bingham has. Now the form letter is coming that um, they appreciate the outpouring of suggestion. She hopes the company comes through with bald Barbies, saying her homemade version doesn't cut it. Robin Rieger, CBS3 Eyewitness News. A lot of people